The Indianapolis Auto Race, that 500-mile grind which is Motormania's Blue Ribbon event of the year, with Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, the head man, and a holiday attendance of more than 150,000 tensely excited spectators for whom the scene becomes one of spellbinding drama. But we were going to win that race because we had the, we had the fastest car in the race, there was no doubt about it. Some of the riding mechanics were, you know, dirt under the fingernails types, and, and he was from an engineering family. But his descriptions of that day and everything that he told you, you could take to the bank. Nothing was exaggerated. We had to lead all the way from the, from the 98th lap. Wilbur Shaw tried several times to, to take us, and if he'd had anywhere near the speed, why, he would have been able to, to take us in the turns because he had a front wheel drive. And uh, but as soon as we hit the, hit the back stretch, we hit the stretch, and we just pulled away from him again. Finally gave up and uh, settled back and to content with second place. The 1935 winner, Kelly Patello, set a new track record. The first prize was 30,000. And uh, there was another 45,000 in uh, advertisements. That's where the money was. So it brought it up to 75,000. So uh, I got 3% of that for about 2,800. Yeah, but that was a lot of money then. And here's the most unbelievable trivia. He was never a riding mechanic in any other race. The 1935 Indianapolis 500 was the only time he was a riding mechanic. When we pulled into Victory Lane, well, the first thing he did, he threw his arms around me and hugged me. And he was pretty tired. First thing that anybody said anything to me was, uh, how are you feeling? It was, it was a nurse from the Enfield Hospital. She was nice, very nice looking. I said, well, what are you doing tonight, Davy? <laughs> uh, feeling pretty cocky for a 23-year-old who just won the 500-mile race. <laughs> 